what is up today youtube back at you guys with another video i swear like i've been trying to make an update video and it's like this gopro my computer everything's been giving me the uh the complete work so run around um, so this is like my fourth time recording this video um the bike now has multiple things done to it like almost triple the mileage from last time or double the mileage it's been uh it's been crazy but without any further ado we are here live and direct such a beautiful day today it's roughly it says about 91 but it doesn't really feel like 91 um, but yeah downtown oklahoma city it's like booming down here i'll take you guys away from the bike for a second you guys probably can't hear it but shout out to that rider down there it's like some type of festival going down over there music festival on the left here people walking like it's a very good day it's not humid it's a nice breeze pretty good day so far pretty good day to ride as you guys know this is the 2022 ducati street fighter v2 um, first video i did i was just going over the bike um, at that point i had not got yet done the uh, 600 mile service first service since then i have done that um, i dropped it off at ams ducati dallas shout out to them even though they like they were taxing heavy when it came to the first service the first service was almost 400 dollars i think it was about 390 or so um, i did also buy the new raid cycles tail tidy since they had that in stock at the shop i put that shit on myself because i wasn't paying you know 150 dollars an hour for them to do it um but yeah what for the first service they did um excuse me so when i say that it was three it was like roughly 300 for the first service minus the uh tail tidy the new rage cycles tail tidy that was like an extra two something so my total was around close to 600 dollars uh for the tail tidy and the first service but the first service they did um they did some firmware updates as well as chain clean the chain and lubed it as well they also um check the tire pressure brake fluid clutch fluid um of course they changed the oil all for almost 400 dollars <laughs> i gotta know that the ducati tax was real well i knew it was real but it really kicked in that day when i got it done um i was like damn i asked the guy like four times i was like 400 dollars he was like yeah man i mean he even he was like yeah we we're, we're taxing but uh he did end up as you guys can see it's a lot sleeker here very clean nice and simple the bike the, the bike's riding profile is a lot different now not drastic too drastic but it is more sleek um one thing that still kind of sticks out is the reflectors on the front as well as the um the stock turn signals so hopefully i'll delete those soon get the um radiator, radiator guard protector and get some maybe some rizoma turn signals I'll let you guys see it from the back with the tail tidy. So it looks very good. License plate is not on for um, video purposes. But yeah. They did all that stuff, the good initial stuff. Um, my next oil change, I think, is like 7,500 miles. I will be doing that myself. Right now, the bike currently has, I think I just hit over 1,500 today. Yep, 1506, so she still rides nice. I enjoy it. Got her in sport mode. Um, bike still surprises me every time I get on it. I still have that thrill. Um, it does run better. Obviously, when, the, when it's not 100 degrees out, I have noticed that change. It seems like it has gotten quicker or it feels faster since I've um, uh, done the initial service. And also, I think it was just because I didn't have my helmet on when I when I got home and I test rode it. I just took it around the block. It seemed louder, but I think that was just because um, I didn't have my helmet on. So, so far so good. Only complaint is this bike, for some reason, I thought it was because it was uh, it'd be low on fuel. But even when it's 
not low on fuel, it has a hard time stopping every once in a while. Like if I've been riding for an extended period of time, but on those days it has been hot, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I haven't gotten the overheat uh, uh, warnings or anything like that. Uh, so maybe because of the heat it was doing that, but it seems that ride it for a while, stop riding, and then get back on it, it has a hard time starting. So I don't know what's up with it. It doesn't do that every time. I'd say maybe once in like, it's happened to me maybe twice since I've got it back from the initial service. So not too often, but it has happened. I don't know why it does that. If you guys have the, I don't know if that's an issue with the Panigale V2, the 955 engine itself, I don't know but it does do that sometimes and it's kind of annoying. It, it does eventually kick back on. Um, my resolution is to, um, I don't know if it, it could also be with it being at a certain angle, like on an incline or something, maybe the fuel doesn't get in there, I don't know. But I what I do is I usually, once it does, when I start it and it doesn't start a couple times, I'll just like uh, shake it back and forth a little bit, not abruptly, but gently just to maybe get some fuel flowing, I don't know. And that usually does a trick when it does happen. So that's my only real like complaint with the bike. And like I said, it doesn't happen very often. Uh, what else, what else is there? Oh yeah, this damn GoPro. Like I've been trying to get at, I was like this weekend, I'm gonna have everything set up so I can do some moto vlogging. Kick the first moto vlog off this weekend nope i went out i got i made sure i got my uh i got the mic off amazon the sure mvl lavalier mic uh, i got the gopro um the media mod case because i didn't feel like i don't know i didn't want to buy a, that adapter it has like three out of five review stars on it and then um have to deal with all the cabling so i just i just got the media mod it's, it's a lot easier it's more sleek kind of protects the GoPro Pro more um, it does have like an external mic on the front and rear I believe that's what I'm talking through now obviously because I can't use the sure but long story short no motor vlogging until Monday next week I have to get a TSSR to TSR adapter so that I can use the sure mic with the built-in um, uh, mic input because it doesn't work with TRRS um, the male connector so I was like it took me a while to figure that out once I got to the I did my Google search in, and then I finally I got to a video where a guy I guess it was uh, the sure company they're like yeah in order to make this work you'll need this and I was like son of a bitch of course my local Best Buy doesn't cover that Amazon is gonna ship on Monday instead of tomorrow so like I said, moto vlog coming on hopefully Monday night, Tuesday night, something like that. Yeah, she looks good. She looks good. I don't know. I was ranting quite a bit, so I don't know if I did. I'm pretty, I think I mentioned that these were gone, the side mirrors. I did get a cheap one from Cycle Gear. It was on sale for like $39.99. I think the normal was like $69.99, so I had to see something see behind me I might get some different ones um, I probably will get two just because just to be safe gotta be able to see so if you guys have any questions go ahead and drop them in the comment section appreciate you guys for watching um, if you're interested in the Ducati Street Fighter V2 I would say definitely you know check it out if you can go ahead and test ride it uh, like i said this is my first bike uh it's been a great bike so far i got it because of the technology because it's a ducati not everybody's gonna have one and it's what i wanted <laughs> so some people say it's too much power but you know it's it is a lot of power you have to respect the bike um, but you can also dial the power down until you feel comfortable riding at higher speeds or with more power.
But yeah, guys, let me know what you're riding. Let me know what your uh, what your wishes are. What kind of bike you would like? I've been thinking about getting the um, the wings, the Street Fighter wings. I'm not buying the carbon fiber ones for twelve hundred dollars or whatever, but if I can find some nice ones, like just something nice and clean, I might do it. I don't know yet. These the street the V2 kind of looks weird with them. It looks like the little like uh like it's wearing its Brick Brothers shoes to me when I see it in pictures because they look perfect. They don't really um, they don't look they don't stand out too much on the on the regular street the V4. But on the V2, you can tell like it's kind of misplaced a little bit. But... Yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. We'll go ahead and enjoy the rest of the uh, the night, the sunset before it gets dark. Like I said, it's booming over here today. Traffic, it's not too bad. But it is booming. So.